Good morning, my name is Anthony and I'm the CEO of Vela Wines. Welcome to our second field, field uh, session here in New Zealand in our Vela Vineyard. And today I'm going to talk to you about shoot thinning. Uh, last time we discussed, I showed you how to prune. Shoot thinning is the next stage. Well, now it's springtime, you can see that we have some growth and a lot of shoots. And the idea about shoot thinning is um, choosing which shoots we want to keep and have a nice placement uh, for the vineyard. The idea is um, to keep a nice balanced canopy with two shoots per spurs. So after the pruning, uh, even if we only kept a few buds, there's always more buds that are uh, coming from the trunk that are bursting. And that's why we have more shoots and, that, and that's the reason why we want only to keep two. Uh, the main reason we are doing this is that if we keep too many of them, it's getting all bushy. Uh, you can see here and uh, all the grapes will get stuck together and we could have some disease problem. In the meantime, we want to control the yields that we have to keep uh, optimum quality for our wines uh, and so we want to uh, reduce the crop that we might have uh, to make sure that we get the best possible quality. So I'm going to take here each uh, spur that we have and I'll show you that uh, even if there are three or more shoots at the start, we only want to keep two of them and that uh, it will open the canopy and have a, <coughs> a much uh, nicer balance for the, via for the vine. So, take each of them and here we can see the four of them. So every time we just take the extra one or the weak one so that we can keep a nice balanced canopy. And that's a very important job that we are doing now because it's really going to give us the architecture for the year. Uh, if we have a nice balance and open canopy, then there's more airflow, there's less disease pressure, there's a better um, quality and number of bunches. And as well, you have to think that uh, it's going to be much easier and much better to prune again for next year because now we are deciding which shoot we are going to keep and have a, have a good placement of them. So it's going to be easier and we'll start building a, a nice uh, architecture for next year. So we're keeping the two nicest each time. And here you can see that now you've got some open canopy, you've got a much better airflow. You can see all the infrarescence. Uh, we can have a good count and that's uh, what we wanted to achieve with shooting.